to emoji or not to emoji, that is the question. Fostering appropriate digital etiquette is a critical workplace skill in a world where remote employment is increasingly becoming a norm. In the digital workplace, email and textual communication lack the subtleties and nuances that face-to-face -face communications boast, and remote workers must compensate to keep long-distance professional relationships functioning. Communication specialist Aaron Orendorf offers a go-to guide on professional etiquette for all employees working remotely. Takeaways to master remote work, apply the 10 rules of professional digital etiquette. First and foremost, show up on time. Send personal rather than generic emails. Be reliable and fulfill your obligations. Communicate clear expectations. Respond to correspondence regularly. Streamline your team's processes by using the same tools as your colleagues. Always explain the rationale behind your actions. If in doubt, leave emoji out. Use specific examples when you communicate. Never forget to use your manners. Summary to master remote work, apply the 10 rules of professional digital etiquette. First and foremost, show up on time. Working remotely is becoming an increasingly popular option, but it's still a relatively new phenomenon. Navigating the unspoken rules and customs of working remotely requires some discipline. In fact, working in isolation may unintentionally erode your social skills, and your colleagues may begin to perceive you as a cad. Be aware of this tendency and employ a set of 10 rules to minimize miscommunications and maintain good rapport with your colleagues. Early is on time and on time is late. First off, be punctual to show respect for your colleagues' time. Planning for digital meetings is more complex and time-consuming than simply showing up. 10 minutes prior to your online meeting scheduled start time, turn on your computer, check that your microphone and camera work, Download and open the right programs, ensure good internet connectivity, and block distracting notifications. Send personal rather than generic emails. Emails that you send to every user in your company will end up in most employees' trash cans, unread. When you need to communicate to a large group within your company, use pre-recorded video messages when possible. But even when you need to communicate with a colleague one-on-one, -on -one, especially when discussing matters of a delicate nature, opt for video conferencing tools. Email and text options tend to be breeding grounds for misunderstandings. Be reliable and fulfill your obligations. Follow through on every commitment you promise to your team. Being reliable boosts your reputation and makes you more relevant to your colleagues. As soon as you realize you'll be unable to meet a promised target or deadline, contact your team members to explain the delay. Consistency is the backbone of remote reputations. Communicate clear expectations. When you fail to voice your expectations precisely, follow-through becomes difficult. Delegate tasks to others and agree to deadlines in writing to avoid the bystander effect whereby no one takes ownership of a task. Everyone's job is nobody's job. No due date means never do. The secret to fruitful long-distance working relationships is keeping the gap between your expectations and the reality of the situation as small as possible. Respond to correspondence regularly. A remote worker has a greater responsibility to answer email promptly than in-house employees. But responding to every communication in a timely manner isn't always possible. If you are feeling overwhelmed by work or emails, communicate that to your team. Any response is better than no response, and a quick explanation for the delay, followed by a realistic response time, goes a long way to maintaining good long-distance relationships with coworkers. If you wish to receive fewer emails, send fewer emails. Streamline your team's processes by using the same tools as your colleagues. Tools such as Dropbox lets you share access to files and documents with all team members. Workflow management programs such as Trello and Asana can increase team productivity and decrease remote project management miscommunications. Irrespective of which tools you use, remember the truism that less is more. Always explain the rationale behind your actions. People are 33% more likely to grant your requests when they understand the reasons behind them. Use the word because to increase compliance and to foster a team mentality by tapping into the persuasive value of explaining why. 
When leaders provide the rationale for their requests, they come across as less dictatorial, and their subordinates become more willing to acquiesce. Similarly, subordinates who reject requests ought to provide valid reasons for their responses. If in doubt, leave emoji out. Emoji may seem trivial, but they have the power to communicate emotional context in a textual environment stripped of tone and visual cues. To maintain an air or professionalism, don't be the first to use emoji in emails with clients or superiors and reserve your use of the wink emoticon for communications with friends. Use specific examples when you communicate. To avoid miscommunication, state the purpose of your email in the opening paragraph. Your audience might read only the opening sentences and skim the remainder, so strategically place your request or call to action in the opening lines. Be detailed with your requests and provide deadlines when possible. Try to limit yourself to one request per email. Never forget to use your manners. When you are rushing, it's easy to forget to say please and thank you in emails. Written communications lack the benefits of tone that verbal communication boasts, so omitting your manners in an email will come across as downright rude. Otherwise, polite and well-behaved humans can come off as complete jerks in the absence of face-to-face -face contact. Within 24 hours of receiving assistance, send individual thank you notes to anyone who has helped you. About the author Aaron Orendorf, a professor of communication and philosophy, champions business growth and scalability through exceptional content. 